asked if we should try incorporating. Wait, didn't we rationale for pairing participants in two? Maybe we only did that in the. We didn't use uh, theory. Oh. Yeah. But we, our rationale was that it's far back and it's difficult to remember. Yeah, right? but we still need to use, like, we could find some theory. You know, there there is a lot of theory. But I think it's also about considering the implications of pairing. Yeah, yeah but also why it's a good thing. I mean, mm -hmm. we could have some focus group theory because it, it is kind of a focus group. Yeah. Okay. So she says this is an app. Ara. Ara. O T T E R. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but I guess I don't know how how much uh, what you want to work on today specifically. Uh, we specifically have to discuss uh, theory and uh, problem statement because I think also uh, Raphael will tell us tomorrow that. Um, we cannot make go to the interviews without having a, no, you know. But I think we actually wrote in the precise interview problem. guide that we were focusing, like that we we were focusing, or that's at least we discussed. We're focusing on the part of the cross disciplinary, you know, mm -hmm. work yeah. dynamic with uh, practices, right? Yeah, but I think it's still <clears throat> also to him it will only be enough. And no, no, be enough for us no, because, no. of course, but um, also in terms of literature review, what he wrote is like, um, I, we don't know which areas and topics we should include, and so we have a very you know precise problem statement, and. Um, but I just completely disagree that everything needs to be that settled before we do the interviews. Yeah. To me, well, it's a it's a weird process. It's I, I think it should be more settled because then it's kind of like going to interviews without really knowing what you're looking for. And then, and then but I don't think we we don't know what we're looking for. I think we just opened it up a little bit in an area mm. because it's not like completely shooting in different directions. No, but then yeah, okay. But then we have to make a problem statement that reflects that you know that yeah. we're specifically focusing on that part. Then, for that matter, we also have to um, probably include that in the literature review something that's related to cross-disciplinary teamwork. Um, and or or is, yeah, cross-disciplinary teamwork in innovation. I don't know if there's anything on that or if that's what we're looking at. If that's the interesting part. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. And that's the thing. I think I'm gonna come tomorrow to the IT around 12 and try to search for some uh, articles about that because I don't know either and we have to ask him as well, maybe he knows. But let's say that tomorrow we should try to tell him about this focus and maybe we should try to explain on his model that we discussed last time that how we want to focus on this like the specific part of what he yeah. created. And also, reading this, um, I realized that you can like basically you can do practice uh, theory without focusing specifically on objects or artifacts. It's mm. just like one part of it. So yeah. if we don't want to, and if we, if we don't want to end up writing something very similar to his work, which is specifically focused on the objects and the artifacts they use. Yeah. It's like totally doable, we just have to acknowledge the role that the different objects have. Mm. But we also have to settle down on that, and also I think in terms of in interviews, because um, it also depends on whether, how much focus we want to put on the different, you know, artifacts that they use in the process. And the questions are should also kind of reflect that, because then we want them to talk about the specific tools as well that they use. And if we don't want that, you know, then we just have to settle on it and yeah. not figure out in the end that oh shit, but we don't have anything about that. And yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Know. 
and <clears throat> uh, I'm, uh, to me the artifacts are not really what is most interesting no, to, I, I and I don't want to do the same as Raphael no, to me neither. I, would also keep I just wrote down the phrase like cross disciplinary innovation practices as like keyword mm. <coughs> because to me it's I think digital innovation on its own is interesting and what practices facilitate that mm -hmm. but I think it's even more interesting to look at it from a cross disciplinary aspect yeah, yeah but then we have to okay but because that's what's happening like mm. here mm. you but then okay being the bearer of the bad news you could say that innovation is always cross disciplinary in every setting because you always have different people working not always i mean in, in a lot of like in SAP, you could see that they have three of the same people just mm -hmm. sitting in a, 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 a sort of isolated innovation hub and just creating ideas you know mm. and in design it it's all designers yeah. Creating their design, you know, oh. it's a, it's very different how it's done. Okay. Innovation um, can happen with the same people, but also with different job functions. I think this is definitely something we should discuss with him tomorrow in terms of also how to voice the problem statement. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also try to. Yeah. What do you think Pimona is interesting that made you pay attention? No, I'm, I agree. I don't want to focus like on specifically, like for instance, you did on one specific artifact and what role does this play. I would like to focus on more like the practice itself of what people do rather than specifically the tools they use. Um, but as he also writes like in the in the feedback on literature review, he's like, what is the main problem statement you are identifying from the literature and how could the literature review be organized in a way that there is a clear red thread towards the problem statement? It's also like our problem statement, you know, has to be based on like some relevant <laughs> facts that this is... Uh, I feel like we should, because right now our problem statement is like two questions, right? I would love if we have one question that would yeah. open up to more sub questions. Mm. Yeah. So that we answer it through the sub questions. But it's just one overall like question. And what did we change it for? We didn't change it. Uh, it's uh, what practices facilitate digital innovation across disciplinary environment in a medium sized software company and how do they continue to Yeah, but the to one we ended up products. handing in now in took the interview. The, I just took the first part. Ah, okay. Um, there could be, I was thinking about something like, um, I, if in this book, um, like they say that one of the views on practice uh, theory is that practice is always oriented towards something, so you always have to, <coughs> so we could phrase it in a way where the goal is the digital innovation here, and then Instead, so instead of having like, and how do they contribute to the development of products? Because I think that's a bit. But that's uh, yeah. I, I, so I, 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 maybe it could be like, what practices facilitate, uh, or what cross-disciplinary practices facilitate, facilitate digital innovation? Uh, the accomplishment of digital innovation. In accomplishment. What do you? That's like. What do you read into that? Like the. That you that that's the goal. That's what you want to accomplish. They they use that a lot here.
but specifically the word accomplishment. Mm, and that's what they used here here a lot, saying that innovation practices. You want to accomplish something. Mm -hmm. Can tell I. No, it's all. What cross-disciplinary practices facilitate the accomplishment of, di of digital innovation? More like but do they also talk to, about it? How do they contribute to the, yeah, the yeah. accomplishment? 